Hey, hey, my friends, it's Brad, the Bearded Piper, and I hope you all are having a great day. I may hear some dogs panting in the background. It's like 80 some degrees here on this lazy, sunny Sunday afternoon here in southwestern Pennsylvania. I'm enjoying a nice bowl of Stoka Bees Luxury Bullseye Flake in my Doran poker. I've shown this pipe many times, but every time I show it, it's getting a little more darker. It is really getting a nice patina to it. This pipe started out pretty much tan, uh, almost a raw, raw briar look. And uh, between the oils of my skin and the oils from the blends, um, it's, it's really getting a, a super nice patina. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I posted the video and I've been exceptionally busy, but the biggest reason I haven't posted one is because I don't feel like I had anything to say. Uh, I try to keep my content pipe related, but I think I'm going to have to start um, delving a little bit more into some things that are going on in my life, some other aspects of, of life, some, you know, some other interests that I have, um, you know, just to be able to make some content because I really enjoy making the videos and I don't like having that big of a gap in between. However, today is going to be pipe related. And I want to talk a little bit about ghosting. And I'm going to talk a little bit about a lifestyle change that I'm doing and how it's affecting my, uh, my, my pipe enjoyment. So ghosting, it's a real thing. Um, a lot of folks dedicate pipes to one blend or another. Um, they'll dedicate to categories of different blends. Um, I know some people, they may start barking now because somebody across the road talked. Um, sorry about that. But, um, you know, some people dedicate to categories like this is for English blends and this one's for Balkan blends and this pipe is for Virginia's and this pipe is for Burley's. Um, although most people, uh, you'll find that Burley's and Virginia's, they, they don't really ghost too much. Um, and then this one's for aromatics and things like that. I've never been one to do that. Uh, today I picked this pipe up, pulled it out of my drawer, empty. I took a puff through it and I could taste the Latakia um, from the last bowl I had from it. Um, I am, uh, it's a, this is a big pipe, but I'm about a third of the way down in it right now. And I can still taste a little bit of that Latakia in this pipe. Uh, I'm okay with that. It doesn't really bother me. Um, I enjoy that little bit of hint of Latakia there, but it does bother some folks. So, uh, but you know what, an aromatic, I do have pipes dedicated to them. Um, I mentioned this before, I made the mistake of putting a an English blend in a pipe that I had just smoked some Boswell's Christmas cookie out of, and that was not good. Boswell's Christmas cookie is good, I enjoy that, and I enjoyed the English blend. I think it was might have been Father Dempsey, but I did not enjoy the cut or the the topping of the Christmas cookie on top of the Latakia. It was a bad, bad taste. It's like brushing your teeth and then drinking a glass of orange juice. So uh, how do you get that out, right? How, how do you get out that ghost? There's multiple ways. Um, a lot of folks recommend the salts and alcohol treatments. Some people recommend cotton and alcohol treatments um, because there's a argument or uh, a belief out there that salts and the alcohol can cause hairline or microscopic fractures on the inside of the briar, which can eventually lead to cracking. Other people swear that that's not true. It's a debate, it's 50-50. It's kind of like, is Royal Yacht an, auto or an aromatic? Some people say yes, because it's got topping on it. Other people say no, because it's a Virginia, and that's what Alfred Dunhill called it a Virginia. Who knows what it is? It just depends. It's an argument for the ages. Same thing with the salt and alcohol treatment. Personally, I don't do a salt and alcohol treatment. I do the cotton ball and alcohol treatment, where I will fill the bowl up um, with cotton balls. Uh, I will stick some uh, either a pipe cleaner or Q-tip down inside the stem, and then I will 
put enough of a pretty high proof, 151 proof vodka uh, in the cotton balls, uh, just until it starts to pull a little bit on top. And I'll let this pipe sit for, I don't know, 24 hours, 36 hours, and then I'll pull the cotton out and it will pull a lot of that stuff out of the inside of the briar. Uh, that's one way. Uh, the other way, and this is the way I typically do it, I just smoke a few bowls of Carter Hall out of it. That's the thumbnail, right? It's the mystery machine and the Scooby-Doo and his gang going out there and busting all the ghosts because it really works. Um, maybe for a really, really, really heavy uh, ghost or something that's pretty potent, maybe not. Uh, you may have to do a few different things with it. But for me, a couple bowls of Carter Hall and ghosts are gone. It's, uh, you know, if it wasn't for you meddling kids, that meddling Carter Hall, it gets rid of the ghosts. So that's my advice and what I do and what I seem to think works the best for me with ghosting. This pipe, I'm not gonna do anything with. I'm just gonna continue to enjoy it uh, the way it is. Um, I haven't been enjoying English blends a whole lot lately probably due to the weather change. Um, I have really developed a taste for Virginia Perique, some Navy cuts, uh, things like that. And, you know, I don't know, it's just the, the direction that my palate's going right now. Who knows, that may change in the fall, it may not. One of the blends that I'm absolutely positively in love with right now is, uh, evening flake uh, and I'm out so I do need to order some of that so but that's ghosting now let's talk about a lifestyle change I'm 50 turned 50 last August I've said that before people were older than me people were younger than me people were even the same age in fact I would guess that there are people that are even born on the same day that I was right it just happens and I've always heard throughout my entire life that once you turn 50, things change. And I never really believed that. Well, it's not that I didn't believe it. I never thought it would happen to me. Well, it did. Um, I've been overweight or obese my entire life. Um, I did have a stint where I was on a diet uh, through my chiropractor and I went from 390 pounds down to 177. Uh, it was great. It was controlled. It was medically watched. Every aspect of it was taken care of. Um, every, you know, it, it wasn't something that was a crash diet or dangerous. Everything was well planned out and the whole bit. Um, but the problem is it wasn't sustainable for me. When I got off of the diet, uh, it's one of these things where you have to buy their products and their ingredients and their foods in order to lose the weight. And then they recommend that you still do some of their foods after, and it's really expensive. So I tried to do it without, and then one thing led to another and poof, I'm back up to 350 pounds. And I can't even believe I'm saying that on YouTube, but I'm saying it. So a few weeks ago, um, I was carrying some stuff out. We were going to, uh, taking some customers to do some factory tours at our corporate office. And I carried a suitcase and a garment bag uh, with my work clothes out to the garage or out to the driveway because my manager was picking me up and he was driving. And I walked to the garage and when I got to the garage, I realized I was a little bit out of breath. And that's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. So I decided that I was gonna take uh, Justin Dembrowski. Uh, he is uh, the coffee pot codger on Instagram, but he's also the Justin that we all know and love from uh, Pipes, Spores, and Pals podcast. Um, you know, and uh, Justin posted some pictures that he's been extremely successful and he's been going great on the carnivore diet now it's kind of a radical diet a little bit but you know when you do some research in it and i talked to my doctor actually about it and they said yeah they're all for it go for it because you know i was 49 years old i did not have high blood pressure i my all of my cholesterol numbers were good all of my uh you know my a1c and everything was perfect i turned 50 i'm pre-diabetic and i have high blood pressure what the heck? Nothing changed. I weighed, oh, I mean, maybe gained a little bit of weight, but I think it was just that 50 year old number. I think it was like, there you go. You turned 50. Now you get these issues coming down on you. So I've been doing it for a few weeks 
And uh, if you're not familiar with the carnivore diet, there's a million videos and books out there. I'm not going to get into it because I'm not an expert at all in it. Um, but uh, I've been doing it for a few weeks and I've dropped, oh, what is it? Um, uh, 10 pounds, um, maybe 11. So a lot of that's water weight gain uh, and a lot of it's actually, or water weight loss and I would imagine it would be a few pounds more than that um, but over the last few days I had some um, kielbasa and hot dogs and things like that which are okay on the carnivore diet but at the same time uh, all that salt I think I'm retaining fluids so but anyway but it's really affected my nicotine tolerance um, it's a ketogenic diet very low carb and um you know i there's a blend i absolutely love gl piece jackknife plug and it's got to be in a small bowl right now because anything over a small bowl and uh it will, will it will get me now again some of that might be because i'm still not drinking enough fluids um, I'm chronically dehydrated on, on this diet. You need to be drinking, 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 and I still don't do it. Um, and, and I know a lot of people don't believe in this. A lot of people think it's a bunch of hogwash, a bunch of hooey, but it is actually a symptom or a, not a symptom, but it's a, yeah, I guess a symptom. It's actually something with people with ADHD have happen all the time. They just forget to drink and I'll carry a bottle of water with me all day long, come home and it's less than half it's maybe maybe a little bit less than half full um and you know in reality i should be drinking two three of those bottles and throughout the course of the day so yeah there's that so hopefully that nicotine tolerance will will, will turn itself back up um maybe i can drink enough water that it won't bother me um and maybe it was just last night who knows so yeah, there we go, my friends. That's my ghosting story and what I do to eliminate those ghosts and a little bit of my lifestyle style change. So um, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this pipe. Then I'm going to feed some dogs. And uh, I've been watching a TV show called Outer Range on Prime. I think I'm going to go in and watch an episode of that. So until we, rem uh, until we meet again, remember, life is good, but it's better with a pipe.